Welcome back. Today I'm here with Executive Chef Robbie Jenkins from Prairie Band Resort. And today we're cooking some recipes from the Three Fires Steakhouse, uh, the pork chops that we just made. They look fantastic. And our chorizo stuffing. And the last thing I want to do is I okay. want to do a little stir fry green beans. And okay. I start off with a honey and coarse grind Dijon mustard dressing. That's going to finish the green beans. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait, I not like it very, already. Not very different from a honey mustard vinaigrette. The only thing missing would be vinegar. Ah. Okay. And I love these green beans because you have these little French green beans or also known as little baby green beans. Right. And Those come frozen. It's so wonderful now. You can buy them frozen in the grocery store. Of course you can grow them. Uh -huh. Now that's anything grown is better. So a little olive oil to my hot skillet. Okay. And I said before how much I love to add butter for flavor. So that'll give me a little sizzle. And you know it is the holiday season, so yeah, enjoy you can, the butter. That's right. <laughs> so mm -hmm. throw my green beans in all at one time. Okay. And this is sort of I'm, I'm want, I want to mimic stir fry action. Okay. So I'm going to continue to move my beans. And these don't take long to cook either, do they? No, they they're don't. They're really little and tender and they, they go quickly and they're gonna, in, what, in two or three minutes? Two or three minutes. I'm going to add a little salt and pepper okay. right now. Fresh ground black pepper and salt. That's all we need. I'm going to keep moving those. And when they're hot through and through, it won't take but a few minutes. I'm going to turn my heat up just a little mm -hmm. because putting the cold beans in did cool my pan down. Mm -hmm. And I like what you're doing because the, I need mean, I need some new ways to make green beans. Yeah. Because <laughs> I usually just cook them and put a little butter on them or something, but this is really nice. Yeah, you have to you have to make food and cooking exciting for yourself, especially when you do it every day. That's right. You know? Keep it interesting. Okay, looks like I've got a nice glazed green bean there. Okay. Right before I'm ready to put it in a serving dish, I'm going to turn my heat off and drizzle over some of that honey mustard. Oh boy. And then I'm going to coat that nice. Look at that. Oh boy. And Looks you can imagine great. how this is going to taste with pork. <coughs> okay, look at that. Okay, looks good. Well, while you're taking those up, tell me a little bit about the convention center. Well, our convention center is a large facility that in which we can host banquets during the week. On the weekend, we can serve up to 500 people or small intimate, intimate gatherings. And um, for the holidays, of course, we've got a lot going on. A lot of folks having their Christmas parties out there this week and next week and all the way up until the actual Christmas day. Mm. Well, that looks great, and it's going to be a wonderful side dish, uh, Robbie, to the beautiful pork chops and the stuffing. Can't wait to try it, but we're going to break. But before we do, let's take a look at what's going on at a Prairie Band Casino and Resort. Prairie Band Casino and Resort has been providing gaming excitement to residents in Northeast Kansas and beyond since January of 1998. Owned and operated by the Prairie Band Potawatomi Nation, Prairie Band Casino and Resort is located on tribal land just 15 minutes north of Topeka, Kansas. The casino offers more than 1,000 of the hottest slot machines and over 30 table games including live poker, blackjack, craps, roulette and more. Prairie Band Casino and Resort also offers three delicious dining options. The Village Garden Buffet is open daily for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and guests can enjoy a wide variety of delicious selections. The Buffalo Grill, located in the hotel lobby, is open 24 hours a day and offers great meals, including a quarter-pound bison burger fresh from the grill. The Three Fire Steakhouse and Bar is open for dinner Wednesday through Sunday and serves a fantastic selection of steaks, seafood, and pasta. The property also offers luxurious hotel rooms, a state-of-the-art RV park, and a 12,000 square foot convention center. Voted best casino for 11 years in a row, Prairie Bend Casino and Resort delivers the gaming excitement and great service that will make your visit a memorable one. For more information about Prairie Bend Casino and Resort, visit pbpgaming.com. This feature is brought to you by Alvin's Wine and Spirit, located at 6th and Monterey or at 9th and Iowa in the Hillcrest Shopping Center.
Welcome back. I'm here today with Robbie Jenkins, the executive chef of Prairie Band Resort. And today we've been cooking some great dishes, Robbie. Everything looks just fantastic. Well, thank you, Janie. I hope everyone will come out to the Three Fire Steakhouse and enjoy our bourbon glazed pork chops, chorizo stuffing, and the Dijon glazed green beans. Mm -hmm. To finish up, I want to show you a dessert. Very okay. simple. Okay. This is orange segments, pineapple chunks, coconut, and I sprinkle some confectioner sugar over, put it all in last night. Now this is something that my grandmother made every year at Christmas time. And as a child, I would watch the adults get very excited about it, waiting for her to be done with it so that they could dig in. And I would always wonder, what's the big deal about oranges and pineapple and coconut? It's really quite simple. And then my mother explained to me that in the winter time when they were children, during the Depression mm -hmm. and uh, following World War II, that oranges and pineapples were tropical fruits which weren't widely available in the winter time. So it has come to be something that we've all loved and revered and each time we have it and it's only made in our family still during the holiday time. It's something that we look forward to and kind of takes us back to the old days. Oh, that, that's a wonderful food memory for them, I'm sure, and for you too. And you know, my mom, who's, who's here today joining us, has similar memories. She tells me about when they got an orange in their stocking mm -hmm. and what a big deal it was. And when we were growing up, she would put those big, huge oranges, you know, the ones that had a little tiny orange inside. Yes. Love to get the little tiny yes. orange out. Mm -hmm. uh, we get them in our stockings as well. Yeah. And so I can, uh, she's sitting over there now and she's going to want to have this dessert. I'm quite <laughs> it's sure. It's delicious and it's very refreshing and it's a nice clean, refreshing feeling after the pork and the, the mm -hmm. glaze and the stuffing. It's very light. Well, one more thing. We can't go without recommending wine. And I have a wine that I think is going to be perfect to serve with this pork chop stuffing and the green beans. This is the Boarding Pass Shiraz. It's a 2005 from South Australia. Of course, they have a, a great label that actually looks, looks like, like, just like a Boarding, a boarding pass. pass. It's got uh, some flavors of black cherry, a little bit of spice, and even a little bit of mocha on the finish. Good it's very, I, I think so. It's mm -hmm. very big. It's bold. It finishes nicely, it lingers on the palate just the way you want a good wine to. And I think it's gonna be a great uh, addition to this meal. All right, and of course you have a great wine list I'm sure out at Prairie yes, Band we do. too. And I would just like to encourage your listeners and everyone out there to please come out and join us. You can see our menu on our website at pbpgaming.com. And uh, we, we look forward to having you. I'm looking forward to getting out there myself. I want to thank you all for joining us today. Robbie, take, thank you for taking time. I know you are so busy this time of year out at uh, Three Fire Steakhouse and the other restaurants thank getting everything so much, in order. Thank you so much, Janie. Janie, it's been a true pleasure. Well, thank you so much. Bon appetit. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Janie's Kitchen is brought to you by the Community Mercantile. Get the fresh local food you love at the Merc. Best of Janie's Kitchen is a collection of over 180 of the best recipes from seven and a half years of our award-winning cooking show. These recipes are the result of a collaborative effort with contributing guests from our program. Together, we proudly present to you the Best of Janie's Kitchen. Order now. Limited copies available. Only $24.95 at www.ljworldstore.com and at the following retail locations. Florence Journal World, Sunflower Broadband, Weavers, Bayleaf, The Merck, and Kansas Union.